Hey guys, Pokemac here, back with another video, and happy Sword and Shield pre-release weekend. So, Sword and Shield now is in shops for people to pre uh, to go through pre-release and see the new cards two weeks before the set becomes uh, available to buy in shops. And it's an amazing time to be a Pokemon player, because these pre-release boxes are amazing. And I've been to two pre-releases this weekend, and managed to get hold of two frost moths which is really good the attack isn't great but the ability is amazing as often as you like during your first uh, during your turn you may attach a water energy card from your hand to one of your benched water pokemon which is pretty good and has a lot of synergy with like quagsire so if you've got something that's in the active that you need energy on uh, you can move it up there from being attached to the bit to the bench you can also use Darn Wings to get the active out of the way. Use the, the balloon card that comes with it, which gives you two free retreat. And um, there's a lot of synergy going on with these cards, and I managed to get two of them, so I'm really happy. Because there is a deck out there that I want to try and build with this. So, really happy with that. And on the Saturday, I managed to pick a, a box that came with a really good V card. Celebi V. Now, the... First attack, find a friend is quite good for setting up, especially when you haven't got a turn one supporter um, available for you. You can, if you don't have one in hand either, you can basically get two Pokemon into your hand and then your turn ends. But line force is what we're really aiming to use there, really. So this attack does 20 damage for each of your bench Pokemon on top of the 50 that you already have uh, in there. So it's really nice. And they seem to have started the centering out on the, these cards because every single card that I pulled over the space of the weekend hasn't really um, had an issue with centering, so I'm really happy with that. And that's because I pulled that. Yes, the metal saucer. Look at it. Oh, it looks really glittery, really nice. Perfect centering. There's no white on the back of this one, and I'm really happy with the quality of it. Pokemon seem to have done it right this time. So it's taken, what, 25 years, 30 years nearly to do it. So really happy with that it's a nice looking card very playable as well and then on the sunday just the victini didn't pull anything from prize packs because we somehow managed in our sh local shop to get an error box where four cards at the end of the back packs were just energy which is a shame but it was bound to happen at some point they've got to fix the centering issue but then they've got an error pack issue but nevertheless Really happy with that pull. It didn't get used on the day because I, there's not a lot of fire support. Now, the thing I'm most excited about is I've managed to get hold of some extra pre-release packs. Yes, you counted that right. Five. And with those five pre-release packs come the prize support. So 15 more packs. And if you count that correctly, that's one shot of a booster box. So really happy that I've got all of them. <clears throat> so without further ado, we'll crack into these. So I've only got Frost Moth in terms of actual promos. So I really do want to hopefully pull the other three. Hopefully today will happen. And let's pull that ever so gently in So we've got another Frost Moth there. And the four packs, so I will show you what comes in these pre-release packs in case you are unaware of what's in them. Um, I will give that code card away for you. Let me know what you get in the comments. So, Frostmath promo. These are very different, but there's no older... Uh, cards in these this time round, like you used to get in Sun and Moon, Ponyard, B Sharp, Snom there for, for your uh, Frost Moth, Evolution Incense, which helps a lot. Mine is a really good card, and then we've got the Inteleon line. Nothing too special, but there's not many cards that you do really get in this set that you can actually play in pre release. But that's another pr promo there for Frostmoth. So let's crack into some packs then. I 
I will be keeping these uh, codes because of the online game and I will be playing it. So we start off with the brand new looking energy, which is really nice there. That's dark energy. Raboot, Hop, Poke Gear, which is being a reprint, Shelda, Mawile, Galarian Ponyta, Sobble, Maractus, Elder Goss, and in DDV. Really, really nice pull that. Really happy. And uh, that's the first pack open, and that's the first pull. So, really, really great start there. So, let's pack. I will be going slowly at first, just so you can see what the cards look like. After a while, I might just speed through them, just so we can get this done in a very, very, very short time. Christian Hammer, another reprint. So is Switch. Very nice artwork for it. Scar Bunny. Silly Cobra. Yamper. Grookey. Roselli is a reverse. And the rare is a Drapion. Loving the artwork in this set. Really, really nice. So, nearly every single box that you get these with does come with at least one pull. So you get one V card in pretty much every single box, or better. So uh, something so everyone can really play with the new cards to get used to them. Ah, Coco V. So that's two in one box. Really, really happy with that pull. And um, that's another one I haven't got. So straight away, I'm getting very close to pulling all the basic versions of the V cards already and it's only been pre-release so if you could smash the like button so you can, we can keep up with these videos and subscribe to the channel just so that you can uh, keep up to date with what I'm doing on here I will be hopefully upgrading my, soft, my, my hardware so I can actually bring you better quality videos but for now we're just going to run through uh, what we've got, really. So I'll go through all the boxes first, just so that they're out of the way off the screen. And then I'll go through the 15 packs. If you've been to any pre-releases, let, uh, let me know in the comments section what you've uh, pulled, because these are really good pulls. As I struggle to open this box, it's like it's glued together. So the pr promo we've got now, <laughs> another Frost Moth. Oh, I'm never going to get rid of these. I'm going to keep this one sealed because it's pretty much the same as the other ones. And I can then try and sell it. They are going for about a tenner at the moment, uh, sealed. So uh, four more packs, one of each artwork. <clears throat> the Lapras. So you still get green codes for no pulls and white codes for pulls. So it's not changed at all. They've not changed it up. They've not sorted out how to do it without giving away what you've got. Quick Ball Reverse, that's a nice playable card. And Cramorant, don't think I've pulled that yet. That's a nice one to have. See if we can't get a full art or rainbow supporter or a trainer card. Nice to pull something decent like that. They are pre-release prices are inflated, but there is. Uh, I was trying to get more of them. Mudsdale and Toco V. So that's another pull that I haven't got yet. So that's really really nice. I do like pre-releases where you get all the packs uh, and you get to get. Decent cards out of them. So we've got Energy Switch, Dotler, Stumfisk, Snom, Grookey, Shelder, Marwile, Glarian Ponyta, Reverses Lapras, and Whimsicott.
And I buy Scar Bunny. And we have Lumberry. First time I've pulled Aura Energy. And I take back what I say about centering because that is atrocious. Uh, double Scar Bunny. Nickit. First time for that one. Chin Chow. Diglett. Ferroseed. Grookey. I do like this reverse um, look on the on the cards with the with the uh, angel behind it. Looks really nice. And Kelly O V. So that's two pre-release boxes and two pulls out of them. Really nice. So Kelly O Taco Coco and Indie DV. Really really nice pulls so far. On to the third box. It's time to wish I brought scissors with me because these are really tough to get hold of and open up. Don't remember struggling this hard in the shop. So I see a different one. Yes, so we've got Rillaboom there. So I'll open that one. I'll give you the code for that one. Let me know what you get. So, Rillaboom, Snorlax. Yeah, Lucky Egg's really, really good. So if you get knocked out, you take you drop seven cards. So if you're struggling for cards, then, yeah, so you get all your evolutions. Ah, Minchino. That's one of the, the basics of another promo, pre-release promo there. Professor Research, I want to pull the full out of that, so hopefully that. And the Zigzagoon, Linoon, and Obstagoon line. Now that is really good. That's been doing really well in pre-release, so it's good to have that in finally in the deck. <clears throat> and for the two different uh, pack cards. <clears throat> So we have B Sharp, Pokemon Catcher, which is another great card to have. Haunter, Sobble, Maractus, Mudbray, Ponyard, Scarbunny, Reverse is Shelter, and Thievel is the rare. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry guys, my throat's a bit dry. Being in a shop all day hasn't helped. So we have Poke Kid, Energy Search, Team Yell Grunt, Snom, Grookey, Shelder, Marwile, Galarian Ponyta, Reverses Goldeen, and Center Scorch. That's the first one I've pulled, and I'm wanting to build a deck around, around it, so really happy with that. So I won't be using the uh, the second attack if I did build a deck. It'd be using 100 foot flames. For each fire energy attached to this Pokemon, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. Really, really, really great mill deck, which will go well with um, Bryson, Man, and Bellaba, which uh, discards three. So really, really ha happy I've got that because I really want to try this deck out because it looks really fun just as a mill deck and you can actually get your stuff back from it via Palpad, via the Orangaroo that has a resource management. So there's plenty of ways to be able to get around that. Not too worried about the retreat cost because you can use a balloon and only pay one retreat cost, but then you've got Victini Prism Star, which you can then get the energy back into your deck for. You just play loads of, loads of energy. You play Weld, you play Lieutenant Surge, probably just to be able to double Weld onto it to add more energy on there to hit it. It is going to go down very quickly because it's 130 HP. It's going to go down to weakness very easily. It's going to go down to most decks that, I mean, a lot of them are hit for 130 easily. So, but really happy with that pull. So let's see what we get here. We have Team Yelgrunt, 
Drizzle, Stunfisk, Minchino, Chinchow, Krogunk, which is now a dark type, it used to be uh, Psychic, Meowth, Scarbunny again, Reverse Evolution Incense, and Noctowl. Rough box this so far. One pack to save it. So we have Ferrothorn, Heatmar, Metal Saucer, Raihorn, Roselia, Ferroseed, Krabby, Zigzagoon, Reverses. Oh, nice Orangaroo. That's a reverse rare. And pri Primate Wisdom. Once during your turn, you may switch a card from your hand with the top card of your deck. It works really well with certain decks that actually let you do that. So you could use Smooth Over to get the card you want. Switch it with something else it might need next turn. You never know. Or you can use it to get something that you can actually get the same turn again. So, I don't know, you could use a po get a Pokemon that you need and then get the next one afterwards. You never know. And the rare is another Coco V. So that's two we've got of that. I do like Coco V though as well. It works really well. The Thunderous Bolt can be um, done turn one, to be fair. Use Coco Prism to get an energy onto it and attach for turn. And then you've got your Thunder Mountain. So a really, really nice card to, to have that. So let me just uh, scoop the rest of the cards into the corner. Two more boxes to go. A tumor way to get into it. It's really difficult. See if we can get a different, uh, different promo over this time. Yes, Cinchino. So, if you can see that, you must discard a card from your hand in order to use this ability. Once during your turn, you may draw two cards. So that is trade, Zorak trade, but. You will take one prize, and the attack's not amazing, but you can attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. A nice little thing if you need energy back from there, so you know you can't complain that, and just 40. If you come up against a Ditto or if you come up against Pidgey, you're knocking it out. So, you know, you can't really sniff at that. It's a really, really good uh, little attack. Probably won't ever be used, but it's uh, nice to have that option. I'll give you that code card. So, <clears throat> Cinchino, brilliant. So, yeah, we've got Meowth, Rotom by Quick Ball. So, it's got the by B Sharp line. It's got the Pre Evolution Minchino, Quick Ball. And it's got the Obstagoon line there again. Nothing too fancy, but it's the packs we're going for. <clears throat> See what we can do on this one. So we've got Sudo Wudo, <clears throat> Hop, Dotler, Cuffant, Baltoy, Salandit, Ponyta, Minchino, Reverse Rare, Roserade, and <laughs> another Roserade. So, uh, double there. Don't forget to like and share this page, and we'll keep up. You can keep up with the content. I will be doing a lot more Sword and Shield up, uh, pack openings once this is set it out. So, we have Drizzle, Mudbray, Hootoot, Pinkurchin, Vulpix, Nickit, Cottony, and the rare. Another Keldeo. Really happy with that again, because so, that's good. That goes well with uh, Snom and Frostmoth to power it up in one go. <clears throat> really sorry, guys. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Seeing a lot of darkness energy. Switch. Ferrothorn, 
Raboot. Yet to pull a Cinderace. Hopefully soon I will do. Chinchow, Diglett, Ferroseed, Snom, Sable IV. So that's two in this box again. So that's really good. Um, I haven't pulled a, a hollow yet, I don't believe. Apart from the pre-release promos. Load search puts a trainer card from your discard pile into your hand. Now that's good. That's very good because you can use Nanu. You can use anything like that. So uh, yeah, if you need a, a, a t turn after turn after turn supporter to mill someone, maybe it's a good idea. Crazy claws, sixty more damage for each count damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So. We've got other Pokemon in from, from uh, Sun and Moon that can move damage characters from yours to your opponents. But then that would work really well for actually using that damage on there as well. <clears throat> Last pack from here. See what we can get. Still wanting some more Senti Scorches. Or a Cinderace. Aurora Energy. Double Quillfish, Wooloo, Joltik, Salandit, Clobicus, Ghastly, Reverse Vitality Band, and yes, so I've got two Centre Scorches now. Really, really good. Happy with that. So, last box, and then we've got 15 packs. This video is already past 20 minutes, but we're having too much fun opening packs to stop now. See what we'll get out of this final pre-release pack. <laughs> Another frost moth. Wow. So uh, that's two frost moths. I'm not opening that pack either. I've got a play set now. Right. So we've got Raboot, Hop, Poker Gear, Sobble, Pink Urchin, Blipug. Rayhan, Minchino, Reverse Ghastly, and the rare is Whimsicott. I actually did play that on the Saturday, and her cross and ride didn't get used, but it was quite interesting to shuffle their uh, active Pokemon into the deck, especially if they've uh, just powered it up. Something wrong with that, then I thought it was damaged. Ooh. So we have a Seeking Ordinary Rod, Bead, that's the first time I pulled that as well. Sobble, Maractus, Mudbray, Ponyard, Scarbunny, Galarian Berserker is a rare, and Lapras V. So no V Max is just yet, but I'm happy we're getting all these Vs. Just regular rares at the moment, but I'm sure we'll get some uh, better pulls eventually. Don't forget the 15 packs I did get with these do come from a booster box. So the potential to get a hit in every single pack is near enough because it, they're almost a full booster box. Then uh, we could see what we get there. Dotler, Stunfisk. Goldine, who looks quite angry looking backwards. Yampa, Scorpy, Clobicus, Wooloo, Reverse Cottony, and the first hollow we've got, and that is an Orangaroo. Look at that. That shine on the artwork is amazing. So happy with that. Last pack of the box. See what we can get from this last pack for here. We've got Potion, Hitmonchan, Linoon, Snom, Grookey, Shelda, Marwile, Ponyta, Reverse Eldegoss, and Graplocked. So that's the first time I've seen that. That's a really nice uh, looking artwork on that. And Wow, so Octolock makes the attack cost two more. Wow, so that's good for us as a stall deck, making pay two more. But 
welded X rock hair that was welder and add two more to it and then they hit you and knock you out. But it's a nice card. And it does 130, so it's not too bad. But there's no uh, ever, no real good acceleration for fighting types anymore. So, 15 more packs that were from a booster box. And I'm hoping my battery doesn't run out because that'd be awkward. So we'll just uh, we'll get through these packs fairly quickly. I'll just uh, ah so yeah so like I said before we've got we're getting error packs so that's one error pack which I'm going to keep to the side because I was sending them back to Pokemon for them to replace. If I do somehow pull an ultra rare from them then I'm not going to complain, but we'll see what we get. So, so again, that one's not a, 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 a error pack. So, Pokemon Center Letter, which has been reprinted re once again. Maractus, Pikachu, Meowth, Sizzlipede, Reverse Shelter, and, oh my god, yes! The first full art supporter of the set I pulled. Wow, brilliant. Yes. So it's not an amazing card, but it's really good. It's a nice looking card. And in pre-release prices, it's probably worth about £20 maybe. But that is good. I thought for a second it was Mar Marini, but I'm happy with that. So let's see what we get here. So yeah, so we've got another, oh, we've got another error pack, but I've just seen something in the back of it, so I'm not really complaining. So four energies, Krogunk, Meowth, Scarbunny, Sinistee, Maractus, Mawile and the Cold Zacian. Wow. So, I'm not complaining about that at all whatsoever. Really, really nice. And it's the good one. It's a playable one. So, uh, really happy with that. Going to sleeve that up straight away. Let's just have a look. Centering is perfect on the front and on the back. No chips or anything on there. So, they have got it right. Really happy with that. Yeah, my battery's on 10% now, so I'm going to have to zoom through these, but wow. So, not complaining about that. It's more energy f from the set, but we'll crack on. Should have really charged this during the day, but I don't care. We're having fun now. We're just going to continue, crack through the packs, and then see what happens. So, Metal Saucer, Quick Ball, Mantine, Ferroseed, Krabby, Zigzagoon, Glossifer, Silicobra, Rapidash, and Boltund. I like Boltund. It's one of the first Pokemon I pulled, uh, well, I caught on Sword and Shield games. Wow. These pulls, guys. These pulls. Definitely need to hit the like button, guys, because this is a really, really good opening. Yep, another error, error pack. It's not every single one in the box booster box I don't think it's just literally every few packs I believe silly slippy and clay doll so that's another pack I'll be sending to Pokemon because that shouldn't be happening anything I get a pull on I won't bother sending because I send the pull with it and it's not really uh, something I want to do so we have far to the front Energy Retrieval, Ferrothorn, Heatmaw, Wooloo, Grookey, Sobble, Rhyhorn, Roselia, and Rillaboom. Not the good Rillaboom though. The one with the ability where you can attach two grass from your deck is brilliant, especially in pre-release. Far to the front, see if we've got another error pack. Yeah, another error pack. Mudbray, Hootoot, 
Pin Urchin, Vulpix, Nicket, Sinistee, and Sandaconda. So that's three packs to send to Pokemon so far. This is one of the reasons why I started my uh, this channel up was as well as opening packs and getting people to watch. Uh, it's in case packs like that happen where I get errors. It happened in, in the Burning Shadows air, um, packs where they give you four reverse hollows, which wasn't a bad thing because I, I completed my collections via it, but it's just not nice to get. Durant. Few more packs left, guys, and then we are done. And we've got a lightning energy. Yeah, another error pack. That's four. So we've got a Tutel, Raihorn, Rookidy. That's the first time I pulled that. Krabby, Grookey, Reverses Cottony, and well, I'm not gonna complain if that's my error packs guys because that is good Ooh, which way is it there we go so two zashins one's gold one's a normal art really com not complaining about that guys i'll tell you that any day so Seeking, Rod, Bead, Minchino, Ponyta, Cottony, Scarbunny, Silicobra, Reverse Rod, and Mopeko. First time pulling that as well. And that's a rare. Five more packs, guys, and then we're done. So do like and share the videos and the page, and I can keep up with the content. So we have another error pack. See what we get from this. Baltai, Chinchou, Krabby, Minchino, Ponyta, Reverses Lapras, and a Noctowl. So that is another pack to send to the Pokemon Company. If you'd like to know uh, how to send them back, I'll get the link and I'll put it down below for you. Some of you may not have known that you can send your packs back to Pokemon, but they do this just in case because they always have some issues with certain packs. So Potion, Hitmonchan, Linoon, Vulpix, Nickit, Baltai, Chinchow, Krabby, Reverses Clobacus and the rare is a Toxicroak. Nice. Three packs to go guys. Let's see if we can pull any more Ultra Rare at theirs. I would like another uh, one or two, but we'll see what happens. And yeah, another pack possibly to go to the company. Scarbunny, Pikachu, Sinistee, Palpad, and Grablocked. Yeah. I really hope they sort this out before general release of the set because it's not great. It's not a great look on Pokemon 2 to have uh, this issue again. They, still, they seem to have fixed it very quickly with uh, Burning Shadows, but there's still some products out there that actually has it. Wow, rare candy, so that's the first time I pulled that. Lucky Egg, Yamper, Grookey, Kumfant, Baltoy, Chinchow, Reverse Ninetales with Reverse Rare, and wow, more Pico V Full Art. Let's sleeve that up straight away. Love that artwork. Love that card. And it's quite playable, actually, to be fair. Last pack magic. See what we can get. Hopefully not an error pack. And see what we get. Ah, uh, no. Boo. Cotton it. Scarbunny, Silicobra, Yamper, Grookey, Reverse Quick Ball, which is a shame, and Ninetales. So that's five or six packs I'm sending off to Pokemon because it shouldn't be happening. It's 2020, they should get the production right. We're paying all this money for these packs. 
it should be getting you know our money's worth from it Let's run through the pulls so we've got Malpico V Zashian full, um, Half Art Zashian Gold Bead Full Art Orangaroo Lapras V Sableye V Chinchino Promo Coco V Rillaboom Promo Keldeo V Toco V Another Coco V and in DDV and another Keldeo V. Amazing pulls from technically a booster box. So really happy with that. Like and share the page, guys, and uh, we'll keep up with the Sun and Shield stuff and hopefully get some more for you in the near future. But until then, check out my other videos, check out the whole page itself, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.